Well, holding on to hope for a necessary boost in local swimming. Welcome into sports, everyone. The Yuma Heat Swim Club is coming off of a monumental trip to the big sectionals meet in Texas back in late March. Now it's on to their summer long course season. Yet there's something about the long course that doesn't fit the bill in the city of Yuma. So we explore the missing piece in their training and why they're calling on the community to help pave a better future for their swimmers. From dawn until dusk, young swimmers chasing a dream. Ready. Some up in training as early as 5 o'clock in the morning when they hear that whistle at the Valley Aquatic Center in Yuma. Dusty, go, 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 go. And one of those young swimmers with aspirations of continuing a long life in the pool is Yuma Heat's Ella Hauk, who so far this summer has scorched her way to two sectional cuts on top of three first place finishes in three separate events. Just last weekend, taking home the top overall spot in the 200 meter backstroke while also setting a new team record. Just my love for this sport is why I get up every morning. When you get to practice, it just makes me feel so much more achieved going through my day knowing I had a good set. But no matter the accolades or how good the set on any given day is, there's something holding back Ella and the rest of her fellow swimmers across Yuma. No long course pools during long course season. We're not at the level that the other competitors are at because they are training long course every day and having to travel three hours to go to Phoenix every single time we want to swim long course. It's kind of hard because we're not as prepared as the other teams, which puts us at a disadvantage. The measured distance for an Olympic-sized long course swimming pool sits at 50 meters, which equals 54.68 yards. In Yuma, there are only 25-yard short course pools, less than half the distance of all the pools they travel to to compete in. This making it hard for Coach Mariah Van Buskirk and the program to provide the best possible results. They go and it's like a whole, whole different atmosphere, let alone, okay, now I have to swim this pool that I don't even train in. You know, aerobically, they just can't compete. And unfortunately, we just can't simulate that in a 25-yard pool. I wish we could, but we can't. Twice the length of their own pool, twice the dedication and hard work needed to flourish. Not to mention extra travel and extra expenses just to swim competitively. The biggest challenge is just having to travel to all these out-of-town meets. Um, we, they spend an average for a family $800 to $1,000 just going to one meet. And if they have two meets a month, I mean, you're looking at close to $2,000. So in order for the heat to fulfill their wishes, they look to the community and the city council for assistance in hopes of advancing the discourse that took a small step three years ago. Back in 2020, we had a long course proposal brought up by the Board of Yuma Heat, and that went through city council, and it got denied due to pricing and budget. We would have to have outside proposals and figure out if there's enough budget for it, whether it be, one, what they're doing right now, trying to rebuild a pool or make a brand new pool. But for now, all they can do is hope looking forward to a better future in the pool. This isn't something that we need to take lightly. It's something that um, we need to do as a team, and we need everybody's help in doing it. Hopefully, um, the city and Yuma, we can get together and figure out how we can better provide for our swimmers and our families here in Yuma.